Now only on four, the site of former steel mills now ushering in a new wave of industry to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 reporter Kaylee Gunderson digs deep into the plans for a piece of Pittsburgh's past. She hears from institutions like the Steelers, Carnegie Mellon University, University of Pittsburgh, as well as actual Pittsburghers who have called Hazelwood home for generations. Homer Craig has seen the world through military service, and he's seen every Pittsburgh neighborhood through a long career as a Pittsburgh police officer. This place, this little settlement of Hazelwood, uh, the demographics is less than 5,000 people, but it's families two and three generations. This June will mark 85 years of living in Hazelwood. It's home to me. Just across the train tracks, a construction site. But Homer remembers it as a piece of Pittsburgh's industrial history, once the hub of steel manufacturing. My father, Henry Craig, was one of the first black supervisors in JNL Steel Mill. He worked alongside people from all over the world that came here, they got a chance in the steel mill. By the late 1990s, it was reduced to brown fields, inaccessible and unsafe to the neighborhood. This 178-acre plot, now known as Hazelwood Green, given new life in 2002. So the foundations, the Richard King Mellon Foundation, the Heinz Endowment, and the Claude Worthington Benedum Foundation bought Hazelwood Green from the steel mills. The intent has always been to clean the site to make it a home and a template for innovative research and commercialization. The community's ask was for a seat at the table. We wanted to make sure that the people who lived in Hazelwood, who were the stable part of the community, aren't pushed aside, shoved aside for people coming in. Neighbors like Homer and CEO of Center of Life, Tim Smith, were part of starting the Greater Hazelwood Plan. And our north star for that plan is development without displacement. And that's something that we have not seen in our community so far. So good, you know. In the past 20 years, the three foundations have invested nearly a half a billion dollars in Hazelwood Green and the surrounding neighborhood. And Todd Stern estimates $350 million of construction is underway right now between the University of Pittsburgh and Carnegie Mellon University. Pitt breaking ground in late 2023 on a $255 million investment, BioForge. It will be technical work. It will be innovation. It will be breakthroughs and things that don't exist. But it will be manufacturing focused as opposed to science focused. CEO of BioForge, Ken Gabriel, explaining its purpose like this. Say a gene therapy is developed to treat a certain type of cancer. How do you get that treatment to the people who need it? How do you make it scalable and accessible? I just read today of a treatment that's been approved in Europe for a rare childhood disease, which costs two and a half million euros per treatment. You, that's not scalable. There's no law of physics that says it should cost that much. It's just that we haven't put enough attention on the innovations and breakthroughs in manufacturing. That's what BioForge is going to focus on. Meanwhile, Carnegie Mellon University expanding on decades of robotics work next to Mill 19 with a new robotics innovation center. You know, uh, Pittsburgh is already sort of the world leader in robotics in many ways and we're putting facilities uh, like an underwater test tank to do underwater robotics. We'll have a large outdoor area to do agricultural robotics. Director of the Robotics Institute, Matthew Johnson Robertson, says their focus is problem solving and using robotics to fill gaps in the workforce while still creating jobs. So we're really optimistic that there'll be a number of roles that get created uh, as a result of the kind of technology we're trying to build. And not just that, but also things that make people's day-to-day -day lives safer, easier, uh, less expensive. Both CMU's and Pitt's new builds are expected to be completed by mid-2025. Still, up to 7 million square feet of development space is available. And Hazelwood's neighbors across the Mon River, the Pittsburgh Steelers, are getting in on it. You know, I've been sitting across the river here looking at that site for the last 20 years now, and so we're, we're excited that it's finally starting to, to happen, and, and we're excited to be part of it. With the promise of a youth sports complex, the Steelers aiming for completion in 2025 as well.
we, we do have a lot of work to do with the community and, and making sure uh, you know that the various community groups are on board with it. So that's uh, an ongoing process. If it brings education and jobs, Homer is on board. All I ask is that they take that technology, that knowledge, and they share it with the kids here. I'm old. I'm not looking for a job. I want them to have jobs. Smith optimistic about Hazelwood's newest neighbors. I mean, the way Hazelwood people see Hazelwood Green, we see it as Hazelwood. We've kept the lights on all these years, you know, in this community. And now to see things happening and happening with us uh, is, is really, really important. In Hazelwood, Kaylee Gunderson, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. That's a great community.